25 terrifying sea creatures that actually exist and it's only a 10 minute video oh, i got it i got it. that's the one 25 in 10 minutes so they're averaging more than two per minute all right it's a speed run of sh terrifying sea creatures Factsverse presents <laughs> 25 terrifying sea, sea creatures. creatures that actually exist number one the goblin shark <laughs> since only a few of these deep sea sharks have been caught by fishing boats not much is known about them its razor sharp teeth are enough to send even the strongest person i mean a good amount's known about them but sure then swimming for land number two the dragonfish they're just all going to be deep Although sea the fish dragonfish is found over a mile below sea level it starts its life on top of the water. As he does sound like he's trying really hard to make his voice deeper. Although the dragonfish is found deep in the water, it no no more. Number three, the frilled. Is it shark. just going to be a list of deep sea this and deep is a sea shark fish that is rarely seen and lives in the Atlantic and Pacific oceans? Thankfully, humans are not close enough in the water to become its prey. Or number small four, enough. The vampire squid. This sure. sea creature has the largest eyes of any animal in the world, proportionally speaking. This creature lives in the depths of the deep sea. Yep, deep Many sea animals. Many people think that it gets its name because it sucks blood with its tentacles. Nope. But this is false. Number five, the big red jellyfish. Holy shit. This huge jellyfish <laughs> can grow to be over three feet in length. It's like a turd. And it's slightly red, which is where the name came from. And it's Rather slightly red, which is where the name comes from. Than using tentacles like most jellyfish have, this type uses fleshy feeding arms to capture its prey. Mm. Number six, the giant squid. Yep, deep sea animals. The giant squid was just a legend for a long time because it was rarely ever seen by not, humans. Not that long. It lives deep. This is a creature that you would not want to run into underwater. True. Number seven, the blobfish. <laughs> This fish lives deep in the waters of Australia and New Zealand and lives almost 4,000 feet this fucking below picture. sea level. Is this the only picture that anyone owns of the blobfish? You know that they don't look like this, right? Like, they don't look like this underwater. Also, calling this one of the top 25 scary sea... Because the pressure at these depths is much higher than near the surface, the blob's fish body is a gelatinous mass. Since humans cannot get that far under the sea, you won't need to worry about running into this one. I Number wasn't eight, worried. The coffin fish. Okay. This fish looks like a pink spine covered balloon. Its appearance <laughs> makes it seem Aww. to be the cross between a puffer fish and an angler fish. When they feel threatened, they are <laughs> capable of puffing themselves up to scare away like their a enemies. Dragon Ball Z the character. Same way that a puffer fish can. Number nine. The giant isopod. Dun dun dun. This creature is permanently stuck. It's a big roly poly. Ah! To the bottom of the ocean. It resembles a crab, but is much larger in size. It doesn't resemble a crab, it resembles a pill bug, roly poly, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it's just a big one of them. Since it doesn't isopod. float to the surface, you won't need to worry about running into one if you're swimming in the ocean. Number 10. Stargazer. Mm. This is a very creepy looking creature. Aww. It gets its name because Don't its be eyes mean. and mouth are located on top of its head. Number 11. The Chimera. This creature should. Is that? Not be confused with the Chimera of Greek mythology. Okay. And they're also known as sharks. Yep. While these creatures used to be found all over the ocean, today they are mostly confined to deep water. Number 12. Yeah, I'm looking it up just to make sure that I'm I'm correct, but I'm pretty sure he spelt it wrong. So I think there's a communication, because isn't it? It's like, what is it? Chim Man, I can't spell it either. Is it this? It's this, right? Chimera. Yeah. I saw he wrote Kamara, and I was like, okay, if I'm wrong, I'm going to look stupid, so let me look it up. But yeah, no, not, not a Kamara. The Amphipod. The These amphipod. tiny crustaceans are no longer than an inch. They're a very creepy creature and are the cross between a lobster and a cockroach. Number 13. No, they're not. The Pacific Black Dragon. Cool. This creature got its name for a reason. 
since most of its prey because it lives in the Pacific, Pacific and it's black and it looks like a dragon. Nascent. If you hate snakes, you'll want to steer clear of this creature. Well, that's pretty easy. Just like with literally every one of these, just don't dive below or any human can even come close to surviving and you'll be good. None of these are even a problem at all. Number 14. The Dumbo Octopus. How is that a terrifying sea creature? This octopus got his name He's from adorable. the elephant in the Disney movie, Dumbo. It's not quite as terrifying as the frilled shark, however, it is so strange looking it deserves a spot on our list. Number 15. The Anglerfish. There you go. It uses a fleshy protrusion that comes out the top of its head as a lure to attract its prey. Mm -hmm. Once they're close enough, it will use its razor sharp teeth to eat the unlucky creature. Uh huh. Number 16, the gulper eel. Uh huh. This eel is also known as the pelican eel and is one of the strangest and scariest looking creatures in the deep sea. Uh huh. Its mouth is huge making it possible for it to swallow prey that is much larger than itself. Uh -huh. Its razor-sharp teeth also allow- <laughs> This image looks so stupid. <laughs> How much of the art used is uncredited? Oh, all of it. All of it's uncredited, I'm sure. Um, but that's pretty standard for YouTube videos and the internet. I won't lie and say I, I don't use art in my presentations that's, that's un uncredited. I could always find it if someone wanted it, but in general, you know. Number 17, the Snaggletooth. The Snaggletooth. This is by far one of the ugliest creatures on our list. Number 18, the Hatchetfish. Oh, I love the Hatchetfish. This fish. fish should not be confused. He's so made fun of. Everyone makes fun of the Hatchetfish. Just with I the Hatchetfish that can be found in many aquariums and are freshwater fish. Its eyes are located on top of its head. What a cutie. Which allows it to catch food that falls from above. It is only found in the great depths of the ocean. People Therefore, are mean to deep sea creatures. These guys are only quote unquote terrifying just because they're weird to you. I feel like none of these have actually been scary fish at all. Number 19, the barrel eye. How? How is it these terrifying? These odd looking creatures are similar to the hatchet fish. Dude, he looks so sad. They have eyes on Look top how of sad their he looks. To catch their prey. Number 20, the grenadier. The this is a bottom-dwelling fish, and they are very abundant, as they make up about- Then what is a scary fish? Mm, a bull shark? I could, like, see being scared of a bull shark. Or a bunch of other things that actually could be scary. This just is so dumb. A lamprey. Pretty scary. These are just like, I'm really, are you scared of this? This just doesn't look scary at all. Stonefish, sure. 15% of the deep sea population. Number 21, the blue ringed octopus. At first glance, this octopus doesn't look scary. It's sure. actually quite pretty, in fact. However, looks can be deceiving. It's actually one of the most Terrifying. dangerous creatures in the ocean. Its venom is extremely potent. Since there is, I mean, yeah, he has potent venom, but this is the opposite of a terrifying sea creature. No anti venom. You want to steer clear of this creature. Number 22, the <laughs> Megamouth Shark. Ah, <sighs> this species of deep water. Christian and I, when we made that tier list, literally spent like 15 minutes making fun of how stupid Megamouth Sharks are. This is a basking shark, by the way. This is not a Megamouth Shark, what's on screen right now. So, not even the right shark in the in the second image, but you know, good try, buddy. Because it is rarely seen, <laughs> there is really no scientific facts about this creature. Its distinctive feature again, that's a basking shark. None of these are mega mouth sharks. He said mega mouth shark and has not shown a mega mouth shark. Dirt is its gaping mouth, which can swallow its prey whole. Number twenty three. Didn't even show a mega mouth. I feel like just so you guys don't fucking. Like, it's not that hard to find. Dude, basking shark, yeah, what is that? If you look up Mega Mouth Shark, basking sharks don't even come up. Mega Mouth, Mega Mouth, Mega Mouth, Mega Mouth, Mega Mouth, Mega Mouth. How did you manage to find basking sharks? There's so many images of Mega Mouth Sharks. There's so many images. Yeah, I don't like Mega Mouth Sharks, but you know, come on, do better. Not much is known about them, except that they are very scary looking. <laughs> Just their razor sharp teeth are Not enough to make anyone run away screaming. Number 24, 
the black swallower. Mm. This fish is also- Remember when that other video, like one of the first videos we ever watched, it was like real sea monsters. It had the black swallower and then it showed videos of aquarium catfish. Known as the great swallower. <laughs> what makes this creature so scary is its ability to consume and digest. Number 25, gigantic sunfish. How is that one of the most, how is, he is listing this as the most, this is number 25 out of 25, the most terrifying sea creature is the ocean sunfish. A group of scuba divers was in the water taking photos when they happened upon this gigantic sunfish. The fish he can vibin. grow up to nine feet long and can weigh over 5,000 pounds. He just vibin. The sunfish that the divers came across was large enough to easily inhale a grown man. No, it's... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, with this mouth, it's it's large enough to inhale. Can a grown man fit? How is he gonna fit? Ain't no grown man fit in that. <laughs> Look at how small the mouth is. My foot couldn't even fit in that fucking mouth. <laughs>